I have my image here and it is showing as hi yes here. Now if I rotate it and I head to, over to zebra, you can see that the status will automatically change that no face is there. Right. So if I come back, hi yes again. Hey what's up everyone, I am Ismap and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be making a complete face recognition application from start till the end using Python and Flutter. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first things first, what we'll be doing is that we'll make our backend using web sockets and then we'll integrate that with our Flutter application. So First, I'll open up VS Code and what I'll do is that this is our backend structure, how it looks like. Also, all of the source code is available in the description box. So make sure to check that out as well and it will ask for an OTP. So I will be mentioning an OTP in between the video. So make sure to watch all of the video till the end. So with that being said, so let's start with our backend for first. So here I have an unknown image and then I have one source image for myself and then I will be testing based on me too, based on this image. So we have here Python server client and a basic script. So let me show you the basic first. So here we'll be using for the basic script, you can see that we just have the face recognition package. So if you don't have this package, then you have to get over your terminal and go to pip3 install and then you have to enter face recognition. Face underscore recognition. Right. After entering that, hit enter and then it will install that package for you. Once it is installed, then what we are doing is that I'm loading the image that is my image and I'm making it as a source image that is picture of me. Then I'm calculating the facial encodings from my image and storing that as well. And I'm doing these two process for the unknown image as well that I want you to track, right? So here I am passing me to image. Then I'm comparing these two images if these are correct or not, right? So I'm comparing these two and if it is a photo of me, then we are getting it's a picture of me. Otherwise, I'll get like it's not a picture of me. So let me just run this code once. So I'll run it by Python 3 face recognition basic dot py i'll hit enter and you can see that i'm getting here it's a picture of me that means that me too and me is of my image but if i enter here unknown image so unknown dot jpeg and i'll hit again now you can see it's coming as it's not a picture of me so this basic logic we will use in our backend to determine if the facial recognition is working or not right next what i did is that i made one server so that server is made of web sockets so using that i am initially defining my image and then based on the web sockets we will be getting the target image from client side right client side we'll be getting so here you can see that inside if name main i am starting an event loop and basically i am starting web sockets dot stir and it will run forever until we stop right so web sockets will start and basically what we are doing here is that whenever we are getting any message we are calling our recognize face method and then we are getting a response and then we are sending back that response json so here we have same logic we are getting the target image whatever image we have and we are comparing that with our source image and based on that i am returning if 
faces we have if we don't have any faces then it will show no face detected otherwise it will show us recognition successful otherwise recognition unsuccessful right so this is the code for the server file it's very basic and easy to understand then i wrote the code for face recognition client as well so here basically what we are doing is that i am connecting to the web socket and then i am transferring the unknown image that we have to the server and then we are getting back the response from here json loads right so this is a python script so let me run server once so what i'll do clear it and i'll run server so server.py i'll run that and now our web socket is working now i'll open another terminal and here i'll run client run right client code i'll run and we are getting a response unsuccessful because here the photo that we are comparing to the source image is my image and the target image is unknown so unknown and me does not match so that is why we are getting unsuccessful and data as one so this data is used inside our flutter application for the enum that i will talk about in just a moment so here i am uh, returning data 0 data 2 data 1 and based on that we will change the front end part of our application right so this is our basic python server client and basic code that you can check it out link is in the uh, description box right Next, let's just go to our Flutter application. So this is our complete Flutter application, right? Here we have one enum detection status. This status is determined based on our server data value. So this data value that we have 0, 2 and 1, based on that, this enum value will change as well. Based on that, no face, fail, success, right? Then inside our main method, we are starting our application a run app and then my app, we are calling this class that we have. And inside that, we have a camera screen class that is right here, our one and only class that we have. Okay. Firstly, what I'll show is whatever packages that we need. So inside the pubspec YAML, you can see that I have included three more packages here. First one is camera, then image, and then web socket channel. So camera is used for capturing real time frames. And then image is used to compress those frames inside so that we can transfer those images to our web socket easily. And then web socket will act as a bridge and then transfer data to and from server, right? So these three packages will be needed here. Perfect. So after adding these packages, you can hit pub get once and then everything will work fine. Then the camera package is dependent on minimum SDK version as 21. So we need to change that as well. So inside Android app build.gradle, we need to change the minimum SDK version as 21. Once that is done, we can focus on our source code that is camera screen that we have. Right. So inside camera screen, what I am doing is I have initialized our camera controller and then we have our image subscription and then our channel and then status so this image subscription i will remove i am not using it anymore right so i will remove it from dispose also correct so now we have our camera web socket and our status perfect so after that in the init state i am initializing my camera as well as web socket as well so inside the initialize web socket we are connecting to our backend so here our server is running so our server is running on 
यू कैन सी लोकल होस्ट एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव सो सेम पोर्ट वी हैव हेयर बट बिकॉज वी आर टेस्टिंग इन एन इम्यूलेटर सो लोकल होस्ट बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंट एज सो जीरो 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 बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंट एज टेन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू इन साइड इम्यूलेटर राइट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई हैव चेंज द डोमेन द यू आर एल दैट वी हैव फॉर अवर वेब सॉकेट पोर्ट विल बी एग्जैक्टली सेम दैट वी आर पासिंग हेयर मेक सेंस now we are listening to whatever data we are getting so as soon as we get any data from our backend we will return back we will json decode that string value so here data will be getting as a string we'll decode that json and then we will update the screen based on the data value so if the data is 1 2 0 based on that we will change our status and then call our set state method as well so this is our initialized web socket also in the init state we are calling initialize camera so here we are basically getting all of the cameras that are available inside our mobile and then basically we are getting any first camera you can get either front one or back one so usually here the back camera is at the zeroth index and front camera is at first index but you can check that out based on this camera's variable makes sense now controller we are initializing here and controller is initialized and then set state we are calling once it is initialized i am calling this timer dot periodic and what this logic will do is that it will call this method inside method every 3 seconds so that after a periodic time interval we will be sending the image from camera to our backend and then getting information if the user is in front of the camera or not right so here we are taking the image we are compressing that image and changing that image into bytes form so we are getting the image as a file but we are changing that and compressing that into bytes form and these bytes then further we are passing to our backend that is got here inside the message so this message will be getting bytes form right so this message we will get and once we got the response back from the server it will come inside this web socket listen we will be getting our data all right so we will be getting these json values perfect so inside we here we have compress image method as well so here we are passing the image path and it will decode that and make it into the image so here we are using the image package that i added inside pubspec yaml for compressing the image and then we are using the image decode image and image encode image using the image package and here the encode jpg has a quality parameter that will ensure that it is a lossless compression that is happening so a lossless compression is there make sense so it will lose a little bit of the quality of the image and then we are passing that bytes to again to our backend server makes sense then inside our build method we are checking if the camera is initialized or not if it is not initialized we are returning a sized box instead and if it is initialized then we will return a stack camera so camera we will show and then we will show a button with the current status and what is the current status right now okay makes sense so let me just start our server so i'll stop it and i'll start it again 
and let's just start our application as well to check if everything works or not right so as you can see that it is initializing and i have my image here and it is showing as hi yes here because inside the widgets we are showing camera so inside this camera we have and then we have one button at bottom right and here we are using current status so this status is based on the enum value that we have detection status so if the status is no face then we will be getting no face detected in the screen if it is fail then unrecognized face and then if it is success we will get hi yes here so that is what i am getting now if i rotate it and i head to, over to zebra you can see that the status will automatically change that no face is there right so if i come back hi yes again if i remove now no face detected so like that we have made and i can just check like okay so hi yes is coming perfectly so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you do then make sure to like it and subscribe my channel as well if you have any doubts then make sure to ask them in the comments and if you have any suggestions for my future videos then make sure to drop them as well so with that being said i am ishmapin peace out